This video demonstrates how easy it is to work in Plant Simulation 3D. To do so, we create a small simulation model and explain the respective functions of 3D. To get started, start Plant Simulation and click Create New Model. Plant Simulation shows a dialog where you can select the mode in which you want to work. The options are 2D and 3D. For this model, we select 3D. Plant Simulation opens a 3D window in which we create our simulation model. To make it easier to place the objects at the right position, we turn on Planning View. To do so, we change to the Ribbon tab View and click Planning View. Now we view the scene from the top. Let's maximize the window to have more space for modeling. We move the scene to the place the event controller in the upper left corner. To do so, place the mouse cursor anywhere in the scene, click the right mouse button, and drag the scene to the new position. To insert an instance, select the class in the toolbox. Move the mouse to the position at which you want to insert an instance and click the left mouse button. If you want to insert more than one instance of a class, select the class in the toolbox while pressing the control key. Move the mouse to the location at which you want to insert the instance and press the left mouse key. Now the class in the toolbox remains selected and you can insert additional instances by selecting the left mouse button in the scene window. To terminate multiple insertion mode, press the escape key or click the right mouse button. When inserting objects, Plant Simulation provides two different snapping modes, snap to grip and snap to objects. Both snapping modes are switched on by default. You can modify the snapping mode on the edit ribbon tab we recommend to leave both snapping modes switched on. When you insert the objects close to each other, Plant Simulation automatically connects them. Let's switch off Planning View by clicking the button again. To zoom in or out of the scene, use the mouse wheel. If you hold down the shift key while turning the mouse wheel, you move faster in or out of the scene. Holding down the control key moves slower. To move an object in the scene, drag the object to the new place. Selected objects can be moved by using the arrow keys. Every key press moves the objects by 0.1 meter. If you additionally press the shift key, the objects move by 1 meter. To rotate selected objects, hold down the control key and press the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. This will rotate the object by 1 degree. If you additionally press the shift key, the object will be rotated by 45 degrees. To change the Z position by selected objects, hold down the control key and press the up or down key on the keyboard. This moves the objects by 0.1 meter in Z direction. If you additionally press the shift key, the objects move by one meter. If you know the exact position, you can open the 3D properties dialog of the object. To do so, open the context menu of an object and select Edit 3D Properties. This opens the dialog Edit 3D Properties of the object. On the tab Transformation, 
you can define the exact position and rotation of the object. To rotate the object, first select the rotation axis by selecting the arrow next to the respective text box for the axis input field. Then define the angle of rotation in the text box next to Angle. As soon as you enter any value, the object will be rotated according to the value. Plant simulation shows all objects with a predefined graphic. You can change the graphic for each object separately. Select the respective object, click Exchange Graphic on the Edit Ribbon tab. In the dialog, which opens, select one of the S3D files. We selected CNC underscore lathe dot S3D. Click Open to exchange the graphic. The S3D files not only contains the graphic, but also the animation settings of the object. When we start the simulation run, you will also see the moving objects animated on the lathe cell we just modified. By default, the object names are not shown for material flow objects. Let's switch on the object name for a single instance. Open the context menu for one of the stations and select Edit 3D Properties. Switch to the tab Captions and select the checkbox Name Label Enabled. Here you can switch the visibility of the object name and label on or off. If you want to show the object name for all stations, Open the context menu for the class object in the toolbox and select Edit 3D Properties. Change to the tab Captions and switch the visibility of the name and label for the class on or off. This will propagate to all instances of this class which inherit this value. On Ribbon tab View, we can switch on and off the visibility of the names and the labels. We use the simulation model in our next video. Therefore, we save the model file. Select File tab on the ribbon and select Save As. In the dialog which opens, you can define any arbitrary file name. This concludes our first lesson of working with 3D. Cards. Driven by digitalization.